Good morning, good morning. Just coming on just a couple of minutes early this morning so that people will know that we are here. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. All that is within me. Bless his holy name. Good morning, Mary, Mary Crawford and Karen Martin. Good morning, Consuela. How are you this morning? And Shirley, hi. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Ooh, wow, Lisa Bowler, wow. Some of you guys kind of have a little watch party there. Wow, wow, bless the Lord, wow. Wow, good morning, Jocelyn and Ruby. Yes, yes, yes. Woo, this is, these are exciting times. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. We have quite a time. I believe in the Lord to show up and just show out. Yes, I am. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. There's Violet King. Hallelujah. Violet King Porter. Yes, good. Ah, from Granada. Valerie Noel. Yes, good morning, Des Dillon. Ooh, wow. Oh, lots of people watching this morning. Some of you like in groups. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, look at this. I just feel the breath of God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Oh, I just thank him so much. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you. Yes. Oh, we have. I'm just going to wait one more minute before I begin with our opening prayer. And opening prayer, we like to... Begin it with communion, don't we? And I, if you don't have yours, just pray along with me. And the next time, bring your little cup of blessing mm, that we bless the Lord with. Hallelujah. We are blessed by and blessed with. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. All right. Let us pray. Mm hmm. Thank you, God. Father, God, hallelujah, how we thank you this morning right here, this day right here, that you are giving to us, hallelujah, and are entrusting to us, and I believe anointing us, hallelujah, to, to pray your scriptures, Lord God, in this hour, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Hallelujah for all of those who have joined with us. I am Dr. Patricia Marino uh, coming to um, as a part of the Black Women Empowered Network. Hallelujah of, of faithful ministers and prayers and people from different backgrounds. But we come before you to minister. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus the heart of God. And I want to thank every single person who has prepared the way in their life and in their schedule to join with us. May the Lord's blessing be upon you. Hallelujah. With us through this hour, we want to honor certainly Dr. Jacqueline R. King as the, the person that God put this this vision, he put it on her heart, I do believe about 11 years ago, and I want to, to thank her, hallelujah, for, uh, for following the heart of God. I know it hasn't been easy, but she has some faithful, faithful, faithful people working behind the scenes, hallelujah, to help her not only to do this and keep this platform available to us to come together into community virtually. Hallelujah. She has those people. Hallelujah. And we want to thank and just hold her arms up, hold their arms up in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord. 
Hallelujah for every one of the, the individuals who minister. Hallelujah. And help us. Hallelujah. Through these uh, 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 these times that we're living with in not only in the United States of America, certainly, hallelujah, but all over this planet, hallelujah, because our prayers do matter. And so, Lord, we, we, we begin our time this Monday morning and we bring our uh, uh, cup of blessing our communion before you, Lord God, and we want to thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, hallelujah. We thank you for giving us a right testimony, and, and we declare, Lord, that we lay our lives down, hallelujah, hallelujah. We consecrate this hour under the empowerment of Holy Spirit, hallelujah, because we want to be in a position to bring cases into the courts of heaven and find breakthrough in our lives for our for our families and our communities hallelujah thank you lord and 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 our businesses in the name of jesus and so lord we thank you we're we're believing you for great things hallelujah we're believing you for hallelujah great things in every realm of dimension that you have given to us hallelujah thank you lord and so father god hallelujah we thank you we take the representation, hallelujah, of the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus, that your blood brings salvation, that your blood brings healing, that your blood brings protection, and that your blood brings restoration. Lord, we thank you. We take your body, and according to 1 Corinthians 10 and 16, that is 1 Corinthians. Corinthians 10 and 16, we take our representation, hallelujah, and the cup of blessing, here's our cup, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, that we, it's the cup of blessing which we bless. So we not only have a representation of the blood of Jesus, we bless it ourselves. Yes, we do, Lord. It's a cup of blessing which we bless because we take it as a representation of the communion of the blood of of Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And, and I'm doing it first this morning because in 1 Corinthians 10, 16, it comes first. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. We bless the cup. Hallelujah. And we receive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because we want our lives transformed. And then we take the bread. Hallelujah. This bread, hallelujah, the bread that we break. Let's break it. Jesus' body was it not broken for us. We break it. Is it not also the communion, hallelujah, of the body of Christ? Mm. Thank you. Mm. I am grabbing my oil as well. If you have oil there with you, let's anoint our hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This time, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We want, mm, we want to be receptive. Hallelujah. Com fully and completely receptive. Hallelujah to what Holy Spirit has for us because we don't acknowledge we don't know what to pray for as we ought. Even when we do, hallelujah, we don't necessarily know how to do it. Holy Spirit does, hallelujah. He knows the heart of God as well. He knows the will of God for our lives and he will pray for us. And so we thank you, Holy Spirit. We take your oil and we anoint, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We, we, we get up from this place. If we haven't done it already, hallelujah, we'll go around and we'll anoint, hallelujah, our dwelling place places and spaces in the name and the authority, hallelujah, of the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, which he laid down 2,000 years ago at the, the cross at Calvary. He laid his life down and Father God gave his only begotten son. Why? So that we can have a right to the tree of life. And we need that right right now in these very troubling times. Hallelujah. And I thank the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank you him for his provision. I thank him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Mm, I'm facing challenges. Are you facing challenges? I probably every single one of us is not only facing challenges. We probably have, we could rank them one, two, and three. And perhaps even we have challenges that we are facing, but we are not playing. We take these opportunities very, very seriously. And we humble ourselves. We're learning to pray. We take the, the word of God and pray the scriptures, hallelujah, over our lives and declare the truths and the principles of God's words over our lives. Hallelujah. Oh, te de Asa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the weight of your very presence with us wherever we are on this planet. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for every realm, for every dimension, every sphere of influence where you are blessing us with a Holy Ghost spine to stand up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, as your anointed. Hallelujah. Even your remnant. Hallelujah. There may not be a whole lot of people like you around you. But God has given us community. Has he not, saints? He has given us a place of connection where we can come together and be shored up and be built up. Hallelujah. Not to feel entitled. Oh, you owe me this. And oh, no, this is this is about what God has for us and taking authority and believing him. Hallelujah. And going on the offensive as we have to. And we just thank you for that in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus. Yes, we do. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. All right. Hallelujah. My focus, uh, uh, and, I, and I did begin it last week, and I read all the way through Psalms 37. I, I really kind of prayed it through, but I, I wanted to begin, it, and, and, and what I'm coming to recognize is that uh, most often and uh, uh, in my studies, they cannot present it in like a half hour and even, even an hour. And that's okay. Hallelujah. However long it takes, we will continue. We're going to dig deep into God's word. And we are going to our motive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. As to live a victorious, hallelujah, Christian life. Hallelujah. Thank you. Because people are watching us. They are. They are watching us to see how we navigate. <laughs> they're watching to see because if you love the Lord, people know. And they're watching to see how you navigate. Are you your hair standing up and you're you just, ah, you're so stressed out. You, you know, you, you don't know which one. No. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, no, no. I want to uh, uh, be begin with um, uh, digging the six principles that God gave me. And they they really do help me. It's going to be the focus of my next book, Digging Deep to Success and Beyond. But these principles are really uh, excellent, pretty simple guides that help me. Uh, I, I, I think of them kind of like little shovels, um, you know, and 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 because and once you you know, get in the word, you're like, oh, it's on, you know, you, it, it, it's a wonderful, uh, uh, experience. So, um, I, um, there, there are six of them and, uh, with motivation, that's the first one you, you line up and you align yourself with the heart of God. So you begin, come, you come in, in into God's presence, wanting to line up with him, not putting, not putting our own agenda first, but to line up with him. And, and, and from that perspective and, and point, we then want to say, okay, God, what's my part? I have a responsibility. I have a responsibility to not only know what's God's perspective on whatever it is, and it's probably a, maybe a certain situation in your family or whatever, but we need to not only line up with him, but we need to be willing to step up and do our part. So you're going to line up and we are going to step up. Hallelujah. And then we're going to pray up. We're going to pray up. Sometimes I say you play up. You got to get back in the game. Hallelujah. Sometimes the devil might hit you from the left and behind. You know, he's dirty and low down. And you might buck it, but you got to get back in the game. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 come to pray in the scriptures with Dr. Patricia. You probably have maybe a prayer group, whatever. You do, you get back in the game and you don't try to do it without support. We need, to be, we need support. We need to be in community. And so we're going to uh, uh, line up. We're going to step up. And then we're going to pray up. Hallelujah. And praying up means you got to 
You got to play up, get back in the game, and you got to pray up. That's the part. And then, when we, and then you got to come with expectation. Our expectation must be, hallelujah, it must be to say up and keep this right here in alignment with the word of God. Hallelujah. And I thank you, Lord. Um, keep our, 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 what we say and also what we see, what we allow uh, to come into our, our visual, you know, we need to be mindful of the atmosphere that we allow to, uh, uh, uh to be around us. We can control that. We can, uh, take authority in the spirit and invoke, uh, 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 the, the spirit of God wherever we, and first of all, we are, we, hallelujah, have to make the choice to be in alignment and, uh, with Holy Spirit and, and to line up. Hallelujah. And then, and so we're going to, we're going to line up, step up, and then we're going to pray up and say up. And then the last two, we're going to, for outcome with benefit, we want our outcome to have some benefits. Yes, we do. So we're going to go up so we can grow up in the name of Jesus. So let's look at Psalms 37. Hallelujah. And see if this little framework will 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 will, will help us a little bit. Uh, 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 and 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 I pray, Hallelujah! If you got your Bible, I'm gonna show you mine. I have all all kinds, all translations. I I you know sometimes there's a, like a, a little word that I'm not sure I'm thinking of in the right way, and I would encourage you to you know to have several translations, and if if there's a verse that that's maybe just a little bit problematic for you, even in different translations, because a lot of times that will help us say, oh yeah, then, then you can kind of like move move on. So um, with Psalms uh, uh, 37, I would just like to talk about lining up with God. So with with lining up, what we want to do is to line up uh, with God's heart and with the Word, and so our focus is of course Psalms 37, and we want to. Uh, um, do that uh, when we say line up. If we have an adversary we're trying to commit, let's look at the scriptures that seem to kind of help us line up with the word of God. Verse 16, they're, they're not necessarily in order. Verse 16 says, a little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. And and if you think about that, if, if we want what we have, hallelujah, and be grateful, hallelujah, and, and uh, to God for what we have, that he doesn't have to, he doesn't just look to people that have a whole lot. Our prayers matter. Our prayers matter. And verse 16 says, even a little, not that a prayer is a little thing, but even material things, the little that we do have, if it's a little, is better than the riches of many wicked. Hallelujah. We need to keep things in perspective. Sometimes um, the the enemy is all extra, you know, blown up and he's all big and scary and, and, and spewing. And we may think he's got the power, but the Bible says the, the little that we have, that's better. Hallelujah. Our community that we come into is better than the riches of many wicked. Verse 17 says, for the arms of the wicked are going to be what? They are going to be broken. That is a point blank promise. Hallelujah. But if we don't know that, if we don't know that the arms of the wicked shall be broken, we even need to declare it. Hallelujah. In the face sometimes of adversity, the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds us. He upholds us. He upholds the righteous. That is us. We are the righteous. We are believers in him. And so the devils, he, 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 he might, it's coming. He's getting, he's going to get his just come up us. Verse 18, the Lord knows the days of the upright. Are you upright? Are you up walking upright before the Lord? Hallelujah. The Lord knows the days of the upright. Now that could insinuate, maybe indicate that if you are not walking up, right with the Lord. His, he may have taken his attention somewhere else. We need to decide to get our act together because the Lord, I want the Lord to know my days. Hallelujah. I want to know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. As I, what is it? I, what do I call it? Um, uh, for Psalms 91, uh, uh, 
dwelling, his, I want to be a, an abide, his dwelling and abiding servant. I want him to know my days. Hallelujah. And their inheritance shall be forever. So when you look at it, there, oh, I, I, an inheritance. So we know if we're as believers in the Lord, we have an inheritance. Hallelujah. An inheritance is way beyond the situation and the circumstance that may be challenging us right here and now. But from God's perspective, our we have an inheritance that is going to be forever. So he's got us in a, um, a much bigger, uh, 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 I would say, way than we may kind of like realize from day to day, moment to moment. Uh, but he knows our days. And then verse 23, it says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So we have to deem and judge. Am I a good man? What makes me good? Jesus said, there's none good but the Father. But if we have put our faith, our trust in Jesus and we are believers in him and the sacrifice he made for us, then it says, our steps are ordered. That is something that we need to know that we line up with that. If you want to feel a little scared sometimes, line yourself back up. Your steps are ordered by the Lord. And, and it says he delights in his way. Hallelujah. When God delights in your way, he will order your steps. He sees you try. It doesn't mean you're doing it all right. It doesn't mean I'm doing it all right. I know I'm not doing it all right. But he says uh, uh, our steps will be ordered and, and he delights in our way. God, we, we can bring actual delight to the heart of God because we are seeking to, to press uh, for the mark, for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And so um, verse 28, and we're, we're, we're lining up, we're lining up, we're lining up with the fact that the Lord loves justice. So if the devil is in your face and he is acting up, we know, we line up with the fact that that's not right. And God loves justice in verse 28. And he said, he does not forsake his saints. So whatever the enemy is, however he's coming against us, we know and we can line up, hallelujah, line our hearts up with the fact that God does not forsake us. He does not forsake his saints. That's our promise, saints. They are preserved. For, in fact, we're preserved forever. But what happens to the descendants of the wicked? Even their descendants are going to be cut off. He's not only going to deal with them, they don't realize they are ruin it for, ruining it for their progeny. Oh, yes, they are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So we're, we're lining up with, the, the, with Psalms 37 and those verses that help us to just come and bring our situations and challenges into alignment with the word of God and with the heart of God. And then verse 39, but the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. Hallelujah. Our salvation, where is it coming from? Can you line up with that? You mean myself, I not only uh, uh, am, am I going to be saved in my situation and am I being, I believe, and we need to see it as it, it is occurring. It is occurring. The salvation of the righteous, we are his righteous. Our righteousness is in Jesus. Hallelujah. The salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. And he is our strength. He is their strength in time of trouble. So when we get, feel like, oh, you get to a place where do I really have what it takes? Or there's someone around you that needs encouragement. Hallelujah. Your strength, he, hallelujah, is our strength in time of trouble. So we don't have to feel like we got to come all extra strong and bold and courageous. Sometimes we just got to be still and just know that our strength is, he is our strength in a time of trouble. Hallelujah. And that peace come right back into your spirit and your soul. He is our strength. And don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. To, to, to declare, hallelujah, and pray these verses of scriptures, scripture over, decre declare them over yourself, your life, and your circumstances. Hallelujah. Because it does take all of that. It takes all of that. Hallelujah. And then 
We're going to move from motivation. So we're lined up. We're lined up with the word. Hallelujah. We, 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 we're, we're all set. And we are going to kick behind. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. As people of faith. Hallelujah. God's will and God's weight. Hallelujah. I'm just being uh, 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 culturally colloquial when I say it that way. Uh, but uh, we want to move and we want to make sure not only are we lined up with him, in him, we have a responsibility. We have a part. The people that think that God is going to go around thumping you, thumping people, and they're going to just all of a sudden do the right thing. I am just sorry to say to you, because I've had to accept it myself, that does, it doesn't go like we have a part to play. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So verse one now uh, under responsibility, because so now we're stepping up. We, we lined up. I'm going to step. We're stepping up. Do not, uh, we have a responsibility to step up and do our part. So verse one of Psalms 37 says, do not fret because of evildoers. And I call this whole series, don't fret. Don't fret. Hallelujah. Do not fret because of evildoers. And, and because it's a command, it says, do not, then we are commanded not to fret. And so we have a choice. When we find ourselves feeling fretful or starting to act uh, uh, anxious, we need to stop and just come right back into alignment because the word of God, if he tells me, do not fret, he says, don't even envy. Don't even wish you were like the, the workers of it. Don't even wish you were crazy enough to do some of the stuff that they boldly do. Don't do that. Don't go there because they're going to be cut off and their, and their children too. You don't want that to happen. You don't want to leave a legacy of, of, of uh, uh, destruction for, for your family and your loved ones. Verse three, now go to verse three. It says, trust, we have a responsibility to trust in the Lord and do good. In fact, in verse three, there's a bunch of things. There's three things. We need to trust him. Trust in the Lord, it says, and do good. Does it not? Are you reading it? And do good. And if you want proof that you trust him, just keep doing good in the challenge of the situation. And sometimes that's a test of our character. I find myself something that you look at a situation and say, but they do not deserve it. They are giving me too hard of a time. I need to do good toward them or concerning this, this, mm -mm. so it, it gets hard, but it says trust in the Lord and we can prove our trust by delighting, hallelujah, by doing good. When we do good, that's evidence, isn't it? That we're trusting him. It says dwell in the land. That's how we're supposed to dwell. People need to see us because they're watching us. They need to see us. Evidence of our trust by the good that we do. Then we're supposed to dwell in the land that's wherever we are and feed on his faithfulness. And that's what this time with Dr. Patricia is about. It's about feeding on the faithfulness of God. This is this is our food. This is our how we we build up our spiritual immune systems and and nourish our our faith by being in community like this. Hallelujah. We got to feed on the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. Because you know, the devil will not tell you the kind of stuff that I'm telling you because we are removing his, a lot of his um, deception. Thank you. Lord. Verse five. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. Wait. Nope. Verse four. Then you will take delight in the Lord and he will answer your prayers. Ah. When we delight ourselves in the Lord, when we trust in the Lord, and we show that by doing good, and we live like that, and and to just develop a lifestyle, just feeding on the faithfulness of God, just feeding on His faith. He says, then you will, you will take delight in the Lord. I, it's like a consequence. You will take delight in the Lord, and He'll answer your prayers. Oh, hallelujah! Oh, prayers can get real specific, can they not? 
and it says hallelujah we working that working on ourselves hallelujah and and being good even when it's hard hallelujah thank you lord i don't know if you saw saw the movie the help but that point in the movie where Viola Davis said it'd be hard it be hard. sometimes it'd be hard but we need to trust in the lord and continue doing good and live like that and feed on his faithfulness they don't know you up eight o'clock in the morning uh, uh uh praying the scriptures with dr patricia they don't have to know hallelujah but that's what it takes hallelujah it says um uh we we will take our delight in him and he'll answer our prayers. Oh, glory. That's why I'm not worried. I, I mean, I, I'm like you. I'm facing some real stuff right now. I'm telling you. But you know what? I, I just, I get excited. I can't wait to see how God is going to do this. I just try to keep control over this thing right here. Oh, sometimes people know just how to pinch you. They get you to say the wrong thing. Say, so it's a fight, but it's on. Fight 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 hallelujah thank you lord and then uh verse five says we're, we're we're stepping up to do our part and so we are not fretting we are trusting we are delighting in the lord and we are also in verse five committing our way to whom to where our way hallelujah how we roll we commit that to whom we commit it to the Lord, Cynthia. Yes, we do. We commit our way to the Lord and we trust also in him because, look at that, and he, who's the one that's going to bring it to pass anyway? You can't bring it to pass. I can't bring it to pass. I'm just, we, we're we not outside of time. God is omniscient. He is omnipresent. Hallelujah. He is also omnipotent. Hallelujah. So we commit our way and we uh, live our lives like he's telling us to do here, here in Psalms 37. And, and it says, not, not don't just commit your way to the Lord. We need to be very clear that it says trust also in him. In Psalms 37, the first thing it does is talk about trust. And the last thing it says in Psalm 37 is about trust. And it says a bunch of times in between. So in verse, in verse number five, it says, commit your way. How you do stuff, commit it to the Lord. Do the right thing. Trust also in him. Know you're trusting in him. When you commit to do things where well, you know, you got good old common sense because the Lord has saved you. So you have access, hallelujah, to spiritual wisdom. Trust him in him also, and he shall. Who's going to bring it to pass? It's him. He's sovereign. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We are seated in heavenly places in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, at his right hand. We're at his, that's where, that's really our position in the heavenlies. We are at God, at Father God's right hand in Christ Jesus in the heavenlies. That's a place of, sh I want it, my southern roots, show the victory. That is a place of victory. Hallelujah. And he's going to bring it to pass. Thank you, God. And so we, we, we step up. Hallelujah. Thank you. We're not fretting. We're trusting. We're dwelling. Hallelujah. In the land, feeding on his faithfulness, delighting ourselves in him. Hallelujah. Trusting in him. Hallelujah. Committing our way to him. And number six, verse 7 says, rest. Rest. Verse 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. There are some things we have to wait for. And we, our, our part to step up to is to stay in faith. And we need to rest in the Lord. He says we can do it. He's commanding us right there. That's, there's, there's promises in 37, but there's a whole bunch of commands. And I try to lump all those right here under resp the responsibility to do what's my part. I, I need to rest in the Lord. And, and to know I got to wait patiently for something. It says, wait patiently for him. Because God is not a genie in the box, hallelujah, that just jumps how high every time we say jump. Maybe you found that out too. It says, we have to learn to be patient. And the process of being patient and the evidence of our patience, and in verse 7, says, do not fret. That's a choice. Don't fussy, let yourself get fussy and anxious and by. Do not fret because of him that prospers in his way. Because we got people around us, 
we 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 probably at least watch the news sometimes. Hallelujah. Thank you. It seems like the culture's gone to hell in a handbasket. Hallelujah. Because the man who bring uh, because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. And we see people bringing wicked devices to pass. We see it before us. It may not even be so much, and you're blessed if it's not so much in your own personal life. Hallelujah. But it may be in your personal life, but it's also in, in, our, in our, our culture as well. So we are to rest in the Lord, wait patiently for him, and not fret because of the, the, the shenanigans of the enemy seeming like he's prospering in the things that he's doing. Hallelujah. Bringing all kinds of wicked things to pass. Thank you, Lord. A few more verses. We're going to step up and do our part two. Verse eight. Look at verse eight of Psalms 37. It says, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Really? You mean I can't get mad? Oh, you can get mad. The word says be angry but sin not. Anger is not an excuse for us to sin, to jump in a hole with bad stuff and bad thoughts and start feeling bad and let ourselves think that it's okay to think bad thoughts about people. It's not okay. Cease from anger, especially if you, if you, if you sometimes you get angry and, and your emotions and thoughts can run out of control, let, let alone your mouth. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. We, forsake means we have to, it's a choice. We have to turn from that state and that inclination to just express profusely our anger. It says, because you know what? It shows that you're fretting. And right next to that, it says, do not fret. It only causes harm. So being angry is a demonstration of a fretful spirit. Does that make sense to you? When we get mad and we don't restrain ourselves, it takes restraint. Now you're talking, Mitchell, we have to grow up. Just because you mad does not an occasion for your mouth to fly all out of control and saying all kinds of things that you know you're going to have to repent for later. And maybe you don't know, but I believe you do. We're, 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 we're not allowed that. That's not our part. We don't step up into the place of anger. Hallelujah. Causes harm. It leads to harm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Verse 9. For evildoers, they shall be cut off. They're going to be cut off, but those who wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. So the Lord is not just telling us to cease from anger because it leads to fretting, which can lead to harm. He's saying, you can know evildoers are going to be cut off. If we just stay in the place of faith and pray God's word over our lives and and believe and declare these different types of things that it seems like it's our part to do. We may have to say, God, if if you want me to not get mad or, or 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 stop letting myself just go to such a terrible state when I do get mad, you got to help me, Lord. Help me. And ho and, and it and it tells us in Romans 8 that Holy Spirit will intercede for us. He'll intercede for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. We don't have to have all the words. We don't have to necessarily be at a place where we can get forgive. Because Jesus, if we will allow Holy Spirit, He will forgive within us. But we need to we need to know what it means to move. Just move aside, move aside. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord, and let Holy Spirit minister. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord, inside of us. Hallelujah! Where we need to forgive, where we need to let go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Um, uh, it says that was, yeah, okay. We were ceasing from anger, forsaking wrath. Verse 9, evildoers, they're going to be cut off. They're going to get that just come upon us. And those that wait on the Lord, that's us. Now, we may be learning to wait, but I'm in the in the game. I am learning to wait and to be uh, watchful. To, you have to guard your heart with all diligence because out of it flows the issues of life. So if I find myself getting anxious, 
I can go back to the word and rein myself back in because I want to inherit the earth. I want to inherit the part of the earth and the realms and domains that God has seen fit, hallelujah, in his books for my life and the things he wants me to do. I want every one of them to come to pass. Every single one of them to come to pass. But I got to learn to wait for some things. Hallelujah. Knowing the evil doer, he's going to get cut off. And 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 somewhere toward the end of Psalm 37, he said, he'll, you, you, he'll let you see it. You'll see him get cut off. It, it, it actually says that. And when God it says, I let God be true in every man. I, I'm going to see it. I'm going to see. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. And so verse 30, 27 says, depart from evil. Oh, I did not talk about inherit. Yes, I did talk about inheriting the earth because that's, uh, those are the places of ministry where God has given to us that God will give us a victory and he will give us influence. Hallelujah. That will be positive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. That will be encouraging to the people who are watching us. Hallelujah. In the earth. They may be watching you online. They may be watching you at work. They may be watching you uh, because they live across the street from you and, and they can see, hallelujah, between you and your husband, how you talk to each other when you're getting in and out of the car. That people, people are watching us. Thank you, God. Verse 27, depart from evil. Um, I take it. And well, read the whole, depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. It would not say to me, depart from evil, if it was not possible for me to go into that type of place within myself. So, are you a work in progress? I believe you are. And so am I. And it tells us in verse 27, our part is to depart from evil. We have a responsibility to make choices, hallelujah, choices in what we watch, choices in what we listen to, choices in what we are, are conversations that we allow to pe people to engage us in and draw us into. We are to depart from evil conversations, hallelujah. We are to depart from evil, uh, evil language. We are to depart from evil and what? We need to displace. Now, where I, if I've had a problem with gossip, you may say, well, Patricia, gossip, that's social. That's not evil. Mm, I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't risk it. Depart from evil and do good. And so the doing good then becomes a mindful choice to move away from maybe that's something that's uh, 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 difficult for you uh, because of your cultural or work, whatever context. It's a little bit hard for you to, to not get drawn in, in, into gossip and talking bad about people, individuals who may be in authority, who are now under fire or whatever. It, it, does God want you be, to be a part of, of, of bashing and beating down people that, that he has seen fit to put in authority when he has told you, hallelujah, you and me, hallelujah, we, those of us who love him and, 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 and say we are the called according to his purpose, he told us to pray for those that have the rule over us. That, it may be well with us. That's how we make things better. We do what he says and we pray against them. Uh, it doesn't say that, does it? It doesn't say, fuss, jo join all the clubs. No, no. It says, pray for. And we know we don't fool God. We are either lining up with the motivation to line up and stepping up, or we're not doing it. Hallelujah. And so, um, uh, it says, um, uh, depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. Dwell forevermore. That's how we're supposed to live. We're supposed to live like that. Not sometimes, not when we go to church, not when we go to prayer group. We're supposed to live. It says dwell forevermore. So I'm, that's how I'm supposed to live. I, I mean, I got a 91 year old friend. She says, she said, she'll tell me, she said. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. It's not difficult. In a particular situation and circumstance, depending upon where we are, it may be difficult. But our choice should be to do our part. 
because we want to see victory in our lives. We want to leave a legacy of a victory for our, our children and make uh, contributions in the realms and domains of influence. And, and, and we want to create atmospheres, hallelujah, where we are, where, uh, where we dwell forevermore, where we do good. It's an atmosphere where good is done. When you're around Dr. Patricia Marino, you want to beat somebody by and touch it. I can tell you right now, not only will she not participate in it, she won't stay there or she doesn't roll like that. I I don't sit high and look low over, over anybody, but I'm serious about this thing. I want my granddaughter to have a life and look back and say, my Mima taught me and and I and, and, and have a life of example that she will hallelujah be proud to 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 try to emulate in some way that God would bless her to do. And it's not easy. Okay, verse 34. Wait on the Lord. We're going to wait on the Lord and keep his way. This is our responsibility. We're going to wait on the Lord and keep his way. Hmm. Waiting? Eh, I think that's kind of like trusting it, isn't it? We got to learn to trust and just continue to, 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 to live and do the right thing. Hallelujah. And and, and watch how we talk about our, our, our situations and circumstances, hallelujah, and, and, and be humble. And sometimes, you know, you might be right, but you, you might have to concede sometimes. I felt my, I was in a situation yesterday. I didn't feel like I was wrong, but I could, okay. You know, but I said, oh, but oh God, I know, I know, I know. The devil is looking for a place to hang his old nasty, ugly hat. And he is a liar. <laughs> And you know what? I just, I, I get to the place sometimes I make, I don't laugh at people's faces or anything like that. No, but in my spirit, I'm like, mm, I just don't get myself, let myself get hung up the way I did for too long. You know, I will admit that. It says, wait on the Lord and keep his way. Keep his way. Wait on him. Keep his way. And he shall, oh, he shall exalt you to inherit the land. He, hallelujah, will do it. He, hallelujah. I don't get let myself get scared. Hallelujah. When, and I do, I, I start feeling a little anxious and, and worried sometimes, but I jump. That's, that's one thing, these, one of my benefits to, to, to conducting these sessions, it is just helps me stay lined up because I'm in the word. And if we will train ourselves to just dig deep into the word, just meditate, take Take the, the verses of scripture and just meditate on it one by one. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, we'll wake up in the middle of the night. Bam, he'll have a strategy. Do this right here. And you'll just know. Oh, okay. You'll, you'll know because he'll say, that's what you need to do. But we need to be in the word. We need to be, I always say, uh, because I believe it's true. We need to be in community. Hallelujah. Because these are times of COVID where uh, people are so isolated. We can't see one another's mouths. Hallelujah. You, you, uh, uh, you, sometimes you, you can barely see people's uh, um, over their glasses or, or whatever. And, and people feel isolated. This is a difficult time for, for many people for very understandable reasons. And there is no shame. If we don't come into community, we, we really can find ourselves perhaps not in a position to minister, minister to someone who may need a, 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 a kind and a wise word. We want, to, we want to have wise wisdom. That is one of the characteristics of the righteous. And we'll talk about that the next time. It is, we, we, we talk justice, but we talk wisdom. And we want to, to, um, to br bring that to, to the atmosphere. We want to bring that Hallelujah. Wisdom to the climate. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil take over and, and set up strongholds in the climate around you. Don't let him do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 16 people were, 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 were shot here uh, at, at a, um, well, this is a, a week ago, and a couple of young people died. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I just, I looked at that. I said, you know, the people that live around where that house was, I just wonder if there were not indications uh, uh, that that uh, elements were were being set up around them that would be even conducive for somebody to just come in with a gun, just shoot, you know, and and and, and just kill, uh, injure so many people. 
We need to have our eyes open, our peripheral vision. It is not just about us and our families. God has placed us where he has placed us because he wants us. Hallelujah. Now you got to go running up in people's faces. But we can look at a situation. Oh, I need to. Oh, I need to pray. That right there. I see something. The enemy is up to something. You don't have to necessarily. But you got, you, you're you not living with your head in a hole. Start praying. Hallelujah. Because sometimes our prayers, not sometimes our prayers matter. They do matter. But we need to realize the importance of being watchful and being vigilant. Hallelujah. As God's watchman. Hallelujah. As his warriors in the name of Jesus. Because we can save lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you this morning. We thank you for our time, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for wisdom. We thank you for revelation, Father God, in the in, in the knowledge of you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for enlightened eyes that we, we are beginning to understand better, Lord God, and see there's a hope that you're calling us to. Hallelujah. There's a riches to the glory of your inheritance in us. Hallelujah. Thank you for it, Lord. We lay hold to it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for your anointing upon us, that you are removing burdens from us that would hinder us, Lord, from being about that which you are are calling us to in this hour. We thank you for it, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you got for us not, uh, today, for what you got for us, Lord God, for blessing us to, to, to recognize those times when you kiss us, Lord God, when we know it's you because of an insight that 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 comes to us, Lord God, or or a, 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 a place of of of, of ministry that, that we happen into and upon and we're there and available, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we just thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that when we get to the other side of this, Lord God, we'll be able to look back and see, hallelujah, that you really did cause it to work together for good. Hallelujah. You caused it in different ways that we could never imagine. Hallelujah. To work together for good because, hallelujah, we set our love on you, Lord God. That's why we look at Psalms, Psalms 91. We set our love upon you, Lord God. Hallelujah. And you said you'll be, be you, you're you with us in trouble. You're right here with us. And whatever the situation and circumstance, you are with us. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus for who. We thank you for, for whose we are, Lord God. And, and, uh, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, thank you, thank you. And so of, of the, 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 the six uh, steps, um, line up, step up, pray up, say up, goal up, grow up, uh, we've done two. I just outlined for you, and we made it through, motivate, through line up and step up. And so when I come with, back with you on uh, our, our next time, we will be looking at participation with expectation where you got to pray up. And oh, brothers and sisters, we got to say up. Hallelujah. I'm believing it for brethren boldness. Hallelujah. That's what I call it. Brethren boldness. The devil is bold enough. And he tries to make us think like, you know, you just not only need to wear that mask, uh, to keep yourself from getting cold, we need to wear that mask to shut your behind up. But the devil is a liar. He will not shut us up. We're going to pray up. We're going to get back in the game. And we're going to say up. Hallelujah. We're going to boldly believe and confidently they declare. Hallelujah. And fret not ourselves because of evildoers. Hallelujah. And not be envious against the workers of iniquity because they're going to be cut off. The word promises us they will be cut off. And they'll see. We are the righteous. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. And we thank you for our assignment. We thank you for uh, for hearing ears. Hallelujah. And heeding hearts. We thank you for this time, Lord. We thank you, Lord God. For marvels of mercy. Hallelujah. Wonders of wisdom. And extraordinary manifestations. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful and blessed day.